All right, we're here at Melly 4x4. We've got Brody here. Car's up on the hoist. Um, we're going to install the airbag man suspension in the rear. We are doing a lift kit at the moment as well, but that's going to be a bit separate. But with the with the airbags, we've got to um, whip the coil out. What's roughly going to be involved in that, Brody? It looks pretty so simple. Pretty much, you just have to undo the lower patrol arm bolt, take off the ABS lines, and pretty much just fold it down. The spring will come out. Then we'll get the new spring. We'll put the bag in it. Run the airlines up through the top there and then put it all back together. It should be fairly simple. Cool. We've got air compressors now as well to go in, so we'll show you all that as well. But yeah, for now, let's start doing some stuff and we'll get into it. Just like that. Beautiful. Alright there guys, got the airbag man's bags ready to rock in the patrol springs. Pretty much with these ones. Easy, nice and easy to stuff them in. Normally with other springs and whatnot, you'd have to really scrunch them up and just really stuff them in the spring and then inflate them to get them all nice and ready to rock. So. Now that we've got the bags in, we're ready to put the springs in. Right out, so we've just got the lower and upper support blocks in now, so we're just going to try and bang in the spring. Go from there. Rotate the coil, rotate the bag so they look sexy. Alright guys, that's the install complete. Mali 4x4 did an absolute amazing job. We've just rocked up at home here, we're going to put this thing to the test. Since all the mods have been done to the car, we haven't hooked it up to the caravan yet. So you're going to see the first time this thing's been hitched on. We'll do some measurements just to see exactly and show exactly what the airbags can do. Uh, we did tow this car, we bought this car up in cans and towed it back from there with the caravan on in stock trim. And the thing sat on its ass, so I'm really excited to see how it's going to look. Let's head around and we'll get uh, get ready. All right, what we're going to do first, which is what you should always do when you're going to add a couple of ton of load onto the back of your vehicle. Uh, we're going to use the Airbag Man tire inflation kit and we're going to chuck 50 PSI in these 35 inch tires. All right, now this is the real cool bit. With the onboard air kit, you get the uh, little airbag man wireless remote, so you can pump up your airbags just with a clicker button. There you go, it's left. That's right. All right, now that we've got 50 PSI on the tires, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a measurement from the center of the hub to the top of the guard with the vehicle unloaded. At the moment, we've got six PSI on the airbags. It's very important at all times you have a minimum of five PSI on your bags uh, at all times. Uh, and then from there, we're going to reverse the vehicle up to our Cruise Master hitch. We're going to drop a 2.6 ton uh, caravan on the back. So we're going to let the vehicle uh, do its thing, sag down under load. Uh, we'll take another measurement from the hub to the guard from there. And then we'll show you, we'll use our onboard air compressor system to inflate the airbags to maintain our uh, standard ride height, all according to your Airbag Man uh, instruction booklet. All right, so this is the vehicle uh, unloaded, six PSI on the bags. We're going to go out halfway to the... Up there, so we're looking at 601 mil on the dot. I'm gonna go over that. All right, so let's uh, let's back her up now, and we'll chuck the load on.
All right, we've inflated the airbags uh, up to 60 psi. Uh, as you can see, it's definitely uh, definitely brought it back up. So I'm interested to see what we're looking at. Go from our little marker here. Let's see what we got. Uh, it's 597. So originally we had uh, unloaded six psi. We had 601 mil, uh, 597 um, with the load on, airbags inflated. So uh, we've got a total sag of four mil. Uh, we've got about 160, 170 kilo ball weight in the back. Uh, that's with the caravan uh, fully empty, no water, um, no gear, etc. on board. So I'm absolutely stoked with that. Uh, we do have a 200 kilo uh, heavy duty springs in here, um, but that is to that is the cover the load of. We've got our drawers, batteries, fridge, um, all our recovery gear, all that stuff in the back. So that's really so that will help a bit with adding load onto the back, but that's more so to help the vehicle uh, with the gear we've got on board. I'm stoked with this. I'll give you a look um, of our setup. It's looking pretty damn level to me. I'm really happy. All right, I knew from eye level that this thing looked pretty damn level. Uh, we pulled out the big guns uh, for a bit of proof. And look at that, it is spot on. So that, uh, that's on the A-frame of the drawbar there. And um, yeah, it is absolutely dead level. All right, so that's how it's done for today. I hope that's a good little overview of how to get the most out of your Airbag Man uh, airbags. Uh, again, a few little tips. Make sure you keep the airbags at five PSI at all times. Uh, and then from there, if you're gonna add load like we did today, you're gonna uh, add your load first with the airbags at five PSI as a, as a minimum. And then from there, inflate your airbags uh, to maintain uh, your correct ride height. And again, don't inflate your airbags any more than 60 PSI. Everyone's setup is going to be different. For us today, we've got a, a 2019 Nissan Patrol Y62. We added a 2.6 ton uh, caravan on the back with about 160 kilo ball weight, which I'm not quite confirmed on. Again, the van is empty. Uh, we have no water, no load, etc. cetera. Uh, 200 kilo heavy duty springs in the rear, which is to maintain the height for all our gear. We've got in the back here, fridge, batteries, uh, drawers, uh, false floor, all that stuff. Um, for us, for our setup, this airbags have worked absolutely spot on. We are so happy with our, um, our kit we've got from Airbag Man. Uh, the onboard compressor, we can we can plug the air in here, uh, inflate the tires on the caravan, the car, um, all round. We maintained our correct height, as you've seen, the proof was there, we got zero degree. Uh, the, the drawbar on the caravan is absolutely dead level. About four mil drop in the car, which is fine. Still plenty of weight over the front. We're going to take this thing for a spin and let's see how she goes.